I love my mom. I call her Big Carol and she doesn't like it, but I love going over there, having a coffee with her, and truly being able to talk about real estate and appraisal to somebody who understands it day and day. It's awesome being able to have my mom there to call her for questions and answers. It's not very normal to call her and say, hey, can you do an appraisal for me? Because that would be a conflict of interest. But it's nice to know that any if I'm trying to comp out a house or I'm struggling trying to look for the right comps for that property, I can always call her and within 20 minutes I have exactly what I need. Which is great because I knew if somebody hired an appraiser, my mom is looking at the same data that they're looking at, so I have kind of inside scoop of everything. So I went by the house this morning and took a walk around the property. The decks look like they're falling off, there's peeling paint everywhere. So if the appraisal hits your desk, what's essentially going to happen? What type of buyer do I really need to find this property? Well, you can't go a conventional mortgage, you can't go an FHA. Most likely it's going to be a cash investor that's willing to fix the property, bring it up to the standard that needs to be fixed up to. For health and safety reasons, the porches might be condemned, so you have to look at that also and see what zoning has to say about the whole thing. And not only just being able to help me with my own personal clients, I'm always intrigued and I like to know about the industry and the industry changes as they go because I think it helps me become a better agent, whether it's just real estate or mortgages or appraisals or whatever that is, it's all one big conglomerate and we need to know about every facet of it. If it's truly a three, I'd have to go to town hall. Based on what I see in the pictures, it looks it looks and smells like a two, but until I go to town hall and do the actual research. That type research, of house is very typical that they did that. They split it up into three units. Really? Yes, because they were all built as twos. I'm surprised it was built in 18-something, so that makes sense. It was sense. built as a two, it wasn't built as a three. If you look at records, somewhere along the line, you'll see where something was converted if they did it legally. However, if they did it, you can always tell by the fixtures in the bathroom and the fixtures in the kitchen, when was this done? You got pink tiles and you know it was done in the 50s. So sometimes the towns don't always have accurate records. If it was built, for example, in the 50s, it's pre-existing, it's been there for umpteen years, they'll declare it as a three. Because back early, in the 1900s, they didn't keep good records. And everybody did what they wanted. It was a free-for-all until they started, you know, instituting the zoning regulations. So what are you doing today? Can you go to tax uh, the building inspector and go kiss the ass and find out what it is? <laughs> no, you go to the zoning department and you ask, you say, what is the legal permitted use in this particular neighborhood? So it's nice to have her to forward these emails off to me about all the different changes that are happening in the appraisal industry because that impacts my business as well. I'm very proud of both of my daughters because I trained both of them, one to be an appraiser, one in the real estate business, and one to have the same personality as me. <laughs> That's a wrap. Hey, if you want me to do any kind of commercials or anything else, I'm available. <laughs>